Today, we are building part two, the interior of our spring modern realistic house in Bloxburg. So we will tour and then start building. So the total value is about $140,000, which means that the exterior is $40,000 as we know. So if you've already built the exterior, you only need $100,000 to finish off the interior. So I tried to keep this pretty affordable because I know my recent builds have been kind of up there, you know, because I just really like to decorate for spring. Like I love placing flowers everywhere. But in this build, I tried to hold off on that you know we have flowers we have plants but i just try not to go overboard so that it's not as pricey yeah but i definitely have a lot of cheaper bills on my channel i make a lot of like really affordable budget homes too so if this is too pricey then you can feel free to check out some of my other cheaper builds but today we will focus on decorating the interior of this house so yeah i can't wait to show you guys how it came out it looks so nice and lively now like look at it from the exterior so nice right okay so let's go inside so you walk in this is the little entrance area we have a cute spring welcome mat <laughs> i really hope we get a spring update soon i want more flowers and stuff anyway this is our living room so i don't know what i was doing with this painting design i thought it looked cool at first i don't i don't know i think it kind of looks weird now we'll just ignore that cute simple living area nothing too much but you have your tv you have a nice little couch set modern colors and some spring plants perfect right yeah nothing crazy like i said before i wanted to make sure this wasn't too cluttered so it wouldn't be so expensive so i definitely tried to hold off on placing so many decorations decorations and plants so yeah this is our little dining area this is so cute i thought this was such a nice idea to place that like right in front of your plants like you see those flowers like this window with flowers I thought that was such a nice little view so pretty perfect for spring so i love this dining area very cheap too so this is our kitchen this is probably my favorite room from this entire build i usually like my kitchens though you guys know that so we have a lot of decorations a lot of utensils so you can role play make a lot of food and stuff we have a little sink area i didn't forget that this time some more role play items Items, some kitchen utensils some more flowers and i love these curtains oh my gosh i think they look so nice i placed those on some of these windows like especially on the second floor and i think they just look so nice this is also another little sitting area i thought that was cute to place in the kitchen so if you want to have a snack you can just sit here look at those flowers so pretty i love this little view it's so nice and you guys know i love this painting <laughs> i use that so often in my modern builds so yeah love this kitchen so nice love the colors we have lots of modern colors like i said before and then we also have some like seashell nothing crazy just for like the spring aspect you don't have to use that color though if you don't want to if you just want to make it strictly modern so this is a hallway which will lead to our backyard which we've seen the exterior but we'll look at it again also a bathroom and another bedroom with a bathroom so our backyard like i was talking about before we know this is what it looks like if you want to expand on it go ahead but this was my back door idea i just wanted to place that back door there next to like the grill a little like stepping stone that's pretty much it yeah nice little simple backyard we love it maybe we hate it though <laughs> okay i'm not gonna be a hater tonight so this is our first bathroom bathroom first one downstairs very nice <laughs> love the colors love the modern textures nice little counter area some role play items again like some perfume very nice love the view you can see the backyard from here very nice oh and you can also look at your garden this is what i was talking about i want to place the windows here so you can just like look at your garden area very nice bathroom i think that's my favorite bathroom so this is our first bedroom only bedroom downstairs i added more detail i'd say to this room i don't really know what's going on over here at this point i was really hungry <laughs> i don't even know i wasn't thinking straight i was thinking of mac and cheese <laughs> so i was kind of distracted but this is like a little dresser vanity area i thought that would be cute to have like your vanity area with the dresser so it's like two in one so plenty of role plays can happen over there and i love this canopy i use this a lot upstairs i thought that was so nice i actually forgot we literally had this i used to use this a lot like a few months ago totally forgot we had that in game so this is the second bathroom downstairs yeah very simple though i wanted to make this one like smaller and more simplistic because it's like part of this bedroom you know only one person is going to use it so you're not going to need like much decoration or items in here so yeah that that was nice so we have two bathrooms and one bedroom downstairs kitchen dining area living room yeah so we can go up the stairs now this is the second floor yes i made sure not to place too many plants just a few a few flowers beautiful so you have plenty of walking space to get around and look at this window beautiful view of your backyard love that so let's go over here first this is like a master bedroom i'd say here's that canopy again oh my gosh i love this i kind of want it in real life so nice i love the colors together and the textures so modern love that tapestry that window with the curtains oh my gosh i just love those curtains dresser area some more role play items little mirror yeah pretty simple also plenty of walking space i like this room yeah i'd say it's pretty nice <laughs> okay so let's go over here this is our bathroom upstairs so we have a really simple bathroom design going on over here we have some role play items some toothpaste i hate that you can't color the toothpaste because look at all of these pretty modern colors that i'm using and then we have red and blue like that does not match with this 
modern spring home, but it's okay. So we have a bathtub, we have a shower set, then some roleplay items on a shelf so you can just use your body wash and your shampoo right there, perfect. This thing is really annoying, but it's the roof. So we're just gonna pretend to ignore that. You can actually fix this if you place down a basic shape, a cube specifically, and then resize it and make it like a short wall. <laughs> and then you won't be able to see that, but that's a bit more expensive. I didn't want to do that to you guys. So this is just a little flower area because yes, yeah, spring house, we need more flowers. And here is the extra room that I was talking about. Thank you guys so much for your suggestions. I saw a lot of comments for an office. So I decided, yeah, why not? We love offices. I actually really do enjoy making these. So I made like a really simple cheap one, just some like role play items, like files and stuff, books, papers. Yeah, just something that you'd see in an office. And then this little thing, like take notes up here. And then a little like lounge area. I thought that was nice. Once again, very spacious. So not cluttered. I did not want to make this house cluttered because why would you want a house that's cluttered? You wouldn't even be able to walk around. So this is another master bedroom. Love this tapestry again. Oh my gosh. It works well with literally like any room. I love the colors and the textures of this bed. So nice and modern. Little nightstand. Love it. And then we have our dresser area over here. This is my idea. I wanted to make this kind of like the dresser closet area. And then I decided over here, let's make a little like secret kind of desk area. It's kind of like nice though. Like you have some privacy to work over here. Maybe you want a journal or something. <laughs> yeah. So I thought that was nice. So we have one more room left. This is our fourth and final bedroom. I would low-key live in here. I think it's pretty nice. Love the textures, like the wall textures together. Love this painting. So nice. And then this is a little desk area. So I thought this was such a cute little room. Love this canopy again. Cannot get over it. It's so pretty. So yeah, that's pretty much our house. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms, office, kitchen, living room, dining area, everything you need. And it's $100,000 to finish off the interior while the exterior is $40,000 as we know. So yeah, this is everything. I think it's super nice. Great for spring. Great for role plays. So let me know what you think in the comments and comment which room is your favorite. So I want to let you guys start decorating now. Thank you guys so much for the love on the exterior. I'm glad you liked the house so far and I hope you enjoyed the build process. Love you guys. Bye.
Thank you.